Okay, so first off, trim yourself a piece of plastic out of a soda bottle. Regular hole punch. We're just going to go in here and punch a bunch of random holes. Overlapping, cutting into one another on the edge. Just a bunch. bunch of little holes. Now just take your scissors and cut some kind of random shapes through the holes. Just kind of get some interesting things going. Doesn't have to be a lot. If you don't think that's interesting enough, go in there with the hole punch and punch you some more. So some cuts with the scissors and then some holes punched. Just a lighter. You don't want to set it on fire. You're just heating it enough to where it starts to bend and then you can shape it and twist it and get some things going. That is your primary of how this is all going to be shaped. Pretty straightforward. Random is good. Random is your friend here. And there has been some comments about the concern about burning plastic isn't good for your health. We're not burning this on fire to get high. We are just shaping things. That's it. So I cut that off the big piece of material. And you've got your kind of little fiery shape. And then, so you're going to want to do this in layers. So do a few of these, and I'm just going to kind of randomly cut here. Here's the thing, is you now get layers, layers, layers. You glue those together to get some more depth and random shape here. Now this one that I did as my test, I got two and three layers in there sometimes. And then, of course, Super glue it to itself to make your ring, or if you want to do a wall or whatever, just glue it the way you want that to be standing. I thought a ring would be nice so that we could put a figure in there, either as the person that's casting it or the person being attacked. And then experiment with the painting. Um, I did some translucent paints and a little bit of dry brush acrylics to kind of get some color variation on that. And um, yeah, there's some suggestion that do it out of a clear plastic and use other color translucent paints so you can do other kinds of fire. That's it. That's the whole trick. That's the whole idea. Um, this is literally the second one I did. This is my version 2.0. There's still a lot of experimentation to do from here. I feel like uh, anybody can do this if you just have enough hand strength for the hole punch and the scissors and you have a plastic bottle on hand. I'd love to see what you do if you try this. Show me in the comments, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.